So what do you think of when you hear the words Microsoft Office? Periodically pulling up Word to pretend you're writing this video? Finding that exciting new PowerPoint transition that will surely keep your audience's attention? Your brief love affair with Clippy, whose time in this world was cut <laughs> so tragically short? Well, Microsoft sponsored this video and asked us to pick out some new stuff to think of from Microsoft's latest offering, Office 2016, which has a lot of tweaks that you might not be aware of in addition to those cute little backgrounds up on the title bar. Starting off, Office now offers a real-time collaboration feature similar to what you'd see on Google Docs. So if you're working on a group project and need a more powerful word processor, Word will let you see what everyone else is typing as it happens, or just how much Chad is slacking off because he figures the rest of you are going to get him an easy A. Speaking of impressive looking projects, Office 2016 offers new chart styles if you've gotten tired of the plain Jane bar, pie, and line. You can now create tree map and sunburst style charts, which are becoming increasingly common for large data sets on sites like Wikipedia and Reddit. There are also map charts that allow you to highlight countries or states in different intensities according to whatever metric you like, like population, income, or a number of TechQuickie subscribers. And even the basics got a facelift. Excel 2016 features a forecasting tool for line charts to make future projections based on past trends. I mean, it obviously can't project game-changing occurrences in the future like a sudden stock crash or your decision to go on a diet if you've been using Excel to track the costs associated with your Mountain Dew consumption, but it does use a standard algorithm to keep things realistic. And if you're devising your own algorithms for something like math or economics class, well, the Ink to Math feature in OneNote 2016 allows you to scribble formulas and equations with a tablet pen and then convert them to actual computer-readable expressions. Then, whether it's basic algebra or calculus, it can actually even solve them for you. There are some more Ink features too, like Editor, which enables striking through words to delete them, circling words to select them, and replaying sketches that you made with your tablet pen, enabling others to see animations if you'd rather express an idea that way. And for those not using Windows Ink, there are a number of other interesting cross-platform features, like the ability to use vector graphics that look great at any size directly in Office applications, built-in background removal for photos, and new icon sets that provide a slicker solution than copy-pasting icons from other programs or just using wingdings all the time for everything. And on the subject of putting interesting visuals into your Office documents, PowerPoint now has a feature that lets you screen record any portion of your display and then insert it directly into your presentation. This is handy for demonstrations or tutorials, and Quick Start can actually pre-fill a presentation on lots of different topics, potentially saving you time that you would have spent hunting down basic facts and coming up with an overall outline. Just make sure that that's not a shortcut that your teacher or professor would frown upon. And speaking of frowning, you certainly wouldn't be if you were using Office on the HP Pavilion X360-15, a new pen and touch-enabled two-in-one. Or should I call it a four-in-one? Well, so it's got laptop mode, stand mode, tent mode, and tablet mode. It's a versatile solution for work, home, or working at home. Or as I like to call it, homework. In fact, speaking of homework, students can save 10% on the Pavilion X360-15 right now at the Microsoft Store, both online and at any brick-and-mortar location. Speaking of physical versatility, pow, that and a student discount aren't the only highlights. The Pavilion X360-15 also has it where it counts, with a 7th generation Intel Core i5 processor and a 1TB hard drive under the hood. For more information, just click the link in the video description. So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other channels, comment with a video suggestion, and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future tech quickies.